Hi, this is Don Clark of FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. I wanted to share with you a simple FileMaker based elapsed timer today. I had to do this for a FileMaker uh, lawyer client that I was working with who wanted to be able to just stop and start a timer just by clicking a button, make it a small bu uh, box up in the left hand or right hand corner. They can just keep going. When they get a phone call, they get interrupted. They click it, stop it, and start it again when they get going again on something else. So you just click the button. It fills it in with red. This red indicates that it's running. So it's a simple visual cue. Um, and then we go ahead and stop it, and it changes everything to uh, white, and it indicates that's the total elapsed time so far. So you can just keep flipping this back and forth, and it keeps running, as you can see. The script is pretty basic on this. Um, you know, what we're doing here is we're, we have three fields, um, elapsed time start, uh, which is uh, a current timestamp. And you want to use a timestamp on this because otherwise it starts at 12 and instead of at zero. And we, set the we set the script if it's empty. You can take a look here. You know, if it's, if it's empty, the, the timer, the elapsed start time. Then we set the field to the get current timestamp. Um, we have this also uh, where we have set the field a flag to one, and this is the flag we use for conditional formatting to, to turn the field red. Okay, and you'll see that in just a minute. And then we have elapsed timer, um, the FileMaker elapsed time counter, the elapsed time, we set it to zero for the first time. That's only if it's at, at empty when we start. If it's not empty when we start, if it's already running, then we uh, set the field to the current elapsed time uh, plus the current time stop minus the elapsed start time. So it's a simple calculation. And then we set the uh, timer to nothing, um, the elapsed time start time to nothing, and then we reset the flag to zero so it turns the red off. So let's go back to here and take a look at this in layout mode and look at this conditional formatting here. And as you can see, if the elapsed time uh, flag, elapsed time counter field uh, table, the flag timer running is equal to one, then we turn the text color to red. Otherwise, it's, it's normal default color. That's all there is to this. It's a very basic thing. I thought somebody might appreciate it. Wouldn't have to spend the time trying to look this up or, or uh, well, look it up would be nice, but not, not to have to figure out how to do this. Thanks, and uh, if you... Always looking for something interesting, go to FileMakerProGurus.com.